Hey y'all, it's Sheila. Thank you for stopping by and spending part of your day with me. I do appreciate it. Talking about the Tati Beauty palette today. Um, before I get into that, uh, I put a post up on Instagram and several of y'all commented on it, uh, on handbags. I don't own any replica handbags. Uh, and let me just say, uh, from a young girl to present, I have always loved handbag shoes and makeup. I think the makeup is pretty obvious. Anyway, I've just always loved handbags. And what I always wanted for Christmas uh, as a girl was a new pair of boots or a pocketbook. You know, I, that's just something I've always loved. And I saw this company on Instagram. It's called Cora Bags. And I've seen several content creators talk about this brand. And they do replicas. Louis Vuitton, Gucci. Um, Chanel, Dior, uh, and I've just never looked at replica handbags, and I've watched a few videos on this company, and I'm going to tell you, I don't have a problem with replicas. I don't. I don't own one, but I don't have a problem, a problem with them. Um, I have clo a closet right over here full of handbags, and, um, I come up here and I dig through that closet of handbags and I pull out something that I carry it a while. Um, when we are at the beach and go to the Tanger Outlets, I go in the stores that sell pocketbooks. And usually when I buy one, it's greatly discounted. Um, Marlene from Marlene Fab and Glam, when we did the trip to the beach, you saw the handbag she got and the price she got it at. That's the way I like to buy handbags. Um, I'm not tight. I'm not cheap. That's just, I like getting things at a discount or on sale, but I've been really intrigued by this company, Cora Handbags, and um, yeah, what do y'all think about replicas? Uh, they have really good reviews. Um, they have great shipping. Um, you can go to their site and check it on Instagram and check out the several ways that they accept payment. Anyway, I'm going to link them below. I'm just curious and I wondered if y'all were curious too or if you have replicas or how you feel about replica products. Uh, the next thing is the Tati Beauty Palette. Um, I've had this. I got it today's Friday. I got it Monday. Uh, and Monica from Monica's Beauty and Lifestyle and Marlene from Marlene Fab and Glab and I all got the palette and we were talking about doing some looks with the palette. So it's a non-collab. Yeah. We're all doing videos on the Toddy palette. They're not going up at the same time. Uh, Marlene's video will go up Saturday night. Monica's video will go up Sunday night. I don't know what they're doing. Yeah, it could be we all end up with the same look. I don't know. I don't know what they're doing. Um, you know, what are my thoughts on the palette? It's it's a heavy palette right off the bat. It has a beautiful, beautiful, crisp, clear mirror. However, due to the weight of the palette and the issues I have with my hands, I can't sit and put my makeup on holding this palette. Would I travel with this palette? Probably not. When I travel, uh, just like when I went to see my son, I had one makeup bag. I took one palette. Uh, for eyeshadow, I took another palette that was blush, bronzer. Uh, I took one foundation, and what I did, I saved these little sample bottles. I had two of those in there, and I put foundation in those bottles, and I still have foundation in those bottles. Um, anyway, I, I travel, makeup-wise, I travel light, but this this is hefty. This is, this is a heavy palette. Um... Beautiful colors, uh, beautiful textures. I'm wearing it today, and what I have on today, and it will bend backwards, um, what I have on today in my crease and transition, I have on Poet in the matte. I've, I've heard some people say the mattes don't blend well. I haven't had a problem, not one problem. I've used real hair brushes. I've used synthetic. I've used my fingers. Uh, and I haven't had a problem at all with blending these shadows. Then in the outer corner, I mixed Memory and Ritual, the brown and the black, in the mattes. And then on my lid, 
I have the sequin shed, no, not the sequin, the metallic. I really like the metallics. Uh, in the poet row, uh, on the inner corner, I have aura in the metallic, just a little pop right there. Um, and I have gotten many looks using this palette. I think you can do an everyday look, or I think you can really sparkle it out of the park. Uh, the cons for me on this palette are the browns. Um, I will never use these oranges, never. The browns, these are too yellow for me. I wear a cooler brown, so uh, I can use this one in the outer corner like I have on today, mixed with the black, but they're just a little too warm for me. Uh, but all the other, the other shades I like, I have used in the story row, I have used this metallic, I have used the Soothe metallic, it takes very little, uh, I haven't had any creasing, the only problem I have had with this palette, the only problem, I do not wear a shadow primer, um, and there's only one shade that has given me an issue. Um, and if I wore a, sh a shadow eyeshadow primer, it it perhaps wouldn't. And it's one of my favorite shades in the palette. In the Aura, the sequin, uh, I get a lot of fallout from this shade. Uh, and it is a beautiful color. But that's the only shade in the palette that I get a lot of fallout from. The only, only one. I'm not going to swatch... This palette, you've seen so many swatches of this palette. It is a beautiful palette. It's a heavy palette. Uh, the grams in the pans are of a good size. And, you know, I, I probably will never go heavy in the glitters. You know, I don't have the eyelid type for a lot of glitter. I have the almost 60-year-old eyelid type with a lot of crepiness. So those, those wouldn't work for me. But I have worn these shadows all day long since Monday. Uh, and I have not had a problem with blending. I've not had a problem with it creasing, getting creases in my lines. I, I've had none of that. You can pro... Do you need this palette? Well, you, you know, nobody needs an eyeshadow palette. Let's face it. Um, I think you can probably get a lot of these colors in other palettes that you may already have. Um, but I think if you want one palette um, with these things in it, it's a good quality. I will say, um, I'm going to put that down. It's getting heavy. I will say this. These shadows are very, very pigmented. Uh, a lot more pigment than a lot of other eyeshadow brands I've used. It takes very little. Um, and today I've done, you know, Tati calls this the purples. To me, they're not purple. To me, I, I don't look at this and think purple. I look at this and think berries, raspberries, um, a hint of, a hint of uh, purple, but not purple, but I I like the colors I have on today, and I did it to show y'all I don't always wear brown, 90% of the time, but I don't always wear brown. With my skin coloring, with my hair coloring, with my eyes, people say, oh, you got brown eyes, you can wear anything, but you put a bright orange, you know, to me, these are bright orange, you put a bright orange shadow like that on a redhead or a bright orange lipstick, and it's not, it's not pretty on me at all. Oh, so I'm happy I got the palette. Is it the best palette I have? But it's by far not the worst, and it's very pigmented. And for me, it's not the best that I have because it doesn't have a cool brown in it. That saying that it is a it's a good palette. Pigmented, easy to use, lots of colors. Um do you need it? Well, you have to decide that. So there you go. Um, did you get the toddy palette? What do you think about the toddy palette? Um, do you use replica handbags? What do you think about replica handbags? 
uh, I had another company that does replicas reach out to me and I'm like, mm, thank you, but I'm not interested. Uh, I also had a company this week that uh, promotes fishing equipment reach out to me. Yeah, have y'all ever seen me go fishing on this channel? <laughs> Seriously, some of the things that come through in our emails are, are really funny. Uh, anyway, that's my thoughts on the toddy palette. I do like it, except for one shade. I can't use that one shade. Now, remember, Marlene is doing a look. I believe she's doing a look. I'm not sure. I think they're doing looks um, on Saturday night, and Monica will be doing hers on Sunday night. And I'll put links to their channels below. Y'all have a great day. Make it a great day. I'll see you later. And you'll probably see me in another video in the same outfit here, makeup. Yeah, I'm probably fixing to film another video. Bye now.